guys, this is Ken from Tech Open back again with another video. This time to show you the unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro laptop. This version is the i7 16 gigs of RAM. It's the i7-8550U processor. And it also comes with a 256 gig SSD drive. I will be expanding with this one right here that I got, which is the Samsung 970 Evo. It's a 500 gig drive that I'm going to install in the second empty uh, port that it has. And uh, I might do like kind of a switcheroo with both of the drives, maybe put the original one in the second slot. And this one, excuse me, and this one in the first one. But I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. But for now, we're just going to do the unboxing, a very quick unboxing, see what's inside. And yeah, uh, I actually already had um, other versions of this. I had the i5 version, eight gigs of RAM. Uh, also with a 256 gig SSD drive and I also had two Xiaomi notebook air models which were pretty pretty nice as well but I kind of upgraded now for for this one which is a has a faster processor and more RAM so let's just check this out guys see what it's like if you're interested in getting this particular version as well as the Xiaomi Notebook Air and other versions of the Notebook Pro, you can check out the links in the description. I will list all of them right there. I always put the, the links with the best prices possible. So all you have to do is click on the links. So it'll take you right there if you're interested in them. So let's just start cutting this open. They sent me uh, a little adapter because I live in Europe. Open this up. So as you can see, it comes in this box right here. And inside the box, they also send um, some little styrofoam supports to keep it nice and safe. So let me just open this up. Down. There it is. So this box is exactly the same as the one that came with the i5 version. It's the same thing. So you can see this is very well protected. It's completely sealed. Here on the back, you can see there's just a tag right here, all in Chinese, so you can't read anything. And like I said, guys. Um, this comes with Chinese Windows version. If you want it in your version, you're going to have to do the installation. You're gonna to have to do a workaround. I will try to post a video with that so you can see what how it's done. Or at least how I do it. So let's just open this up. And here it is. So it comes with this little tab to pull. And it's fairly heavy. This is around like more than two kilos. And uh, you can see here on the back the sticker that indicates office included. It comes pre-installed with Dolby Atmos and the Infinity Harman speakers here on the sides. You can see them right here. One on this side and one on that one. You can see the airport, the air vents here. And yeah, just put that aside for a sec. Now here in the box you have the manuals. So it comes with this little envelope. The manuals are always in Chinese, so there's no real use with this unless you understand Chinese. Cantonese language, there's no use for this. You have the charging brick, which is smaller than the ones that 
were included with the first Xiaomi Airs. This is actually smaller and these prongs actually pop out. Comes with the US prongs and you can see the charging cable here, USB-C to USB-C. I can actually open this so you can see the length. So this is around, I would say, maybe a meter and a half, probably. No, not a meter and a half less. It's around a meter, a meter, a little bit over a meter long. So I'm gonna unwrap this for you to have a better look. Just to unwrap it here on this side. And instead of doing undoing all of this, you just slide it out like so. So you can see the grills here on the bottom. You have the little Xiaomi logo right there on the bottom. And if you want to access the inside to uh, install the SSD drive, you're gonna have to unscrew these little screws that are right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I believe there's another one right here under this. You're gonna have to lift this little rubber foot out to, to reach that little screw. And we're gonna do that as well. And you can see the ports here already. So you have two USB-C ports. This one is the power one. It's the only one that works with power. Here's the charging, the little LED charging indicator. You have a little SD reading port here. Although it's kind of slow, this port, it's not the best one in the world. It's not really fast. And here on this side, you can see the headphone jack, USB, two USB 3.0 ports, and the HDMI out port. And now, if we open this up, let's see if it, we can open this with one hand, yes. Can open it with one hand. It comes with this little protective cloth here, and you can see how nice this is. So, uh, many of you might think, you know, it looks more very similar to the older MacBooks, to the previous generation MacBooks, because of this layout and the keypad is pretty pretty wide. You have a fairly large mouse pad. And it's, it has like a, gla a glass feel on it. And you can see here the i7 sticker. Core i7, eighth generation. And right here on this bottom part, let me see if I can show you. You have the only Xiaomi logo that is visible is this little logo right here. That's all you can see on it. The bezels are fairly slim. And yeah, it's really nice. It has a backlit keyboard. Only one step backlit keyboard. You cannot regulate the, the intensity of the lighting of the keyboard. You only have on or off. And it's really nice, guys. So I'm gonna try and set this up. And maybe I'll do the video of the setup or how to set this up in your native language since this does come in Chinese. And uh, in terms of the keyboard, for those, this will be, I will be setting this up in Portuguese language. For people who are wondering uh, what to do with the keyboard layout, there are some stickers that you can buy like on Amazon and eBay that you can glue over the keyboard once you have this reconfigured for your language. And since you will have that little issue with the keys, there's little stickers that you can actually glue on this. So uh, I'll also try and show you that, maybe put a link uh, for that as well. So this is basically it guys. Uh, maybe I can switch this on so you can see what it looks like turned on. And uh, and then keep the rest of the video for later on. I'm just gonna show you the first boot so you see what it's like. So in order to work around the uh, language, so as you can see, it comes in Chinese. Now 
Now, in order to go forward with the setup, so now it's, as, it's asking you, it's asking you to set up your language. So uh, as you can see here, there's no no English, no no English option here, no Portuguese, no nothing. All you have is Cantonese and Asian languages and whatnot. So this section is really not important. We're just going to uh, keep going forward. So you just press the little right, right button right there, click that right button. You just keep going. Now here it's asking you if you want to set up a second uh, keyboard setup, a second language. We're going to ignore that, just keep on going forward. Okay, now it's asking to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Now I'm Okay, well, I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So now it's on this part right here. And here it is. It's now set up. Uh, here I think we just press right here. So it's ready, okay? Now, like I said, the only problem is that it's all in Chinese. Uh, so, you can see here, all this is in Chinese. Now, uh, in just, just in the case of the Notebook Pro, uh, not on the Notebook Air, on the Notebook Pro, you have Office 2016 included. Now, in order to get this set up uh, in your language and to, to not lose the right to use the, this version of uh, Microsoft Office, what you're going to do, even before installing your native language on this laptop, before we do the whole process of installing uh, our language on this laptop, you're going to have to open Office. Now we want to sign in. You want to, let me see. so it automatically signed into my account already. Oh, okay, so it already recognized that that my account is here. So what you need to do is start one of the applications. Anyone is is okay. And when this sh shows up, you're going to sign in. And you're going to use your Microsoft account uh, and it's now associated with my Microsoft account. So as soon as I install Windows in my native language, which is Portuguese, I should have not have any issues with the um, with the installation and the uh, activation. In terms of keyboard lighting, you can see that you only have either on or off. There are only two levels. Very, very well uh, lit. And yeah, the keyboard, the layout is very well spaced out. Very comfortable to type on. I like the feel of the keyboard travel here. The keypad, the mouse pad is perfect. The fingerprint sensor works like 90% of the times. 80 something to 90% of the times it works fine. And I love the design. It's very, very nice. The material is excellent. I definitely recommend this. So well, guys, this has been the unboxing of the Xiaomi Notebook Pro i7 256 gig drive, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, MX150 uh, graphics card version of the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. I definitely recommend this. If you're thinking of getting this, guys, don't hesitate whatsoever. It's a very, very great device. And um, yeah. If you're interested in getting this, check out the links in the description. I will list all of these. I'll try to list this one, the i5 version, and also the Xiaomi Air versions. Uh, so yeah, check this out, guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to help me support my channel and make it grow. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any comments for this, uh, maybe you have one yourselves, a laptop like this, and you would like to leave your suggestions or your opinions to other viewers who might be interested in getting this, uh, you're more than welcome to leave your comments, and if you like the video, get to leave a thumbs up. And thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video.